like never before. Cinema at Home is powered by Dolby and Watt Hi-Fi, two of the most respected names in the business of audio and video. Now, like every consumer durable out there, even home theatre has a luxury side to it. Oh yes. And really, the sky is the limit when it comes to splurging on the ultimate home theatre. So to talk about spending all that money, I have with us the editor of What Hi-Fi magazine, Nishant Badia. So Nishant, hello first and tell us, how high-end can high-end audio actually be? Well, you know, to be honest, sky is actually the limit because high-end audio is all about spending lakhs and maybe even crores on, on an audio system. Uh, so you have amplifiers that could go in the region of about 80 lakhs up to a crore and speakers can even actually exceed that. So it's all about how much you want to spend and whether you want to build a room dedicated around that system because that is where high-end really comes into its own. It needs a space that is purpose-built for that particular home theater and for that particular system. So high-end is very different than regular mainstream audio and we're talking about serious money and serious calibration and also serious input from the owner's side. Wow, that's seriously high-end. But tell us, how different are they from other regular home theaters? Well, you know, uh, to be honest, uh, high-end audio is also about having the faith. It's almost like religion. You believe in it or you don't. So if you have a high-end audio system, usually in the first few seconds of experiencing it, you'll, you'll know that there's something different about this. You'll hear more finer detail. You'll hear better dynamics. You actually feel like the musicians are in your room if you're listening to music or if you're watching a movie, sometimes it's even better than your local multiplex. So, you know, it's money well spent. Uh, and if it's well designed, it can even exceed going to a live concert and watching a symphony orchestra in front of you. But tell me something, honestly, how different do you hear or sound a real high-end system from a maybe affordable one? Well, you know what? The differences are evident from the first few frames of watching a movie and especially if you're watching a high definition movie on Blu-ray, for example. And if it's a very dark movie, uh, say The Dark Nights, for example, uh, where the movie is shot in, uh, in the night most of the time, you'll be able to see the shadow detail a lot better. Uh, the black devils will be so much more richer. Uh, the contrast is overall so much better. And if you're listening to music, uh, well, that's a whole different scenario again because the scale and the dynamics of the instruments, they actually try and mimic a real instrument. So if you're listening to a stand-up bass, you'll actually be able to tell the height of the stand-up bass and the upright bass. Uh, if you're listening to a, a, a drum kit in a, in a drum solo, you'll actually be able to hear the spread of the drums as the drummer goes about playing his business. So, you know, the difference is, is actually in the nuances and the subtleties and someone who appreciates high-end audio will actually pick it up in the first few seconds. So it's an investment completely worth all right, fantastic. So while you may have to take a loan to buy the home theatre of your dreams, Nishant claims that it's well worth it. That brings us to the end of the series of Cinema at Home. If you have missed any of our earlier episodes, please don't wait too long to watch and learn. Thank you for hanging out with us and for now, bye.